What's up YouTube, DJ Plays Games here. I got another unboxing video for you. This will be the second one within a week. Um, this right here is the Wasp Cam ROX 9940HD. I actually got this as part of a promotion, so I don't didn't have to pay anything for it. And uh, But I figure why not do an unboxing of it and see what we got. It says it's got all these goodies inside, so we'll see. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Unboxing to be able to unbox this. Roll one of unboxing. Have a knife or something. Don't do it with your fingers. Is there one on the other side? Yes, there is. You know, I'm still gonna take it off though. Definitely should have had a knife. Oh shit! All right. So here's the top of that fancy packaging. Then we have the camera itself. Look at that fancy stuff. Put this over here and this over here. So now we have this part of the box down here to open up. Let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Look at what you get everything and I'm just gonna take a look at how to take this off real quick because I have no idea how just pull it up oh yep yeah, okay I'm gonna toss this all right so it looks like this is the camera. It's got a protective casing on it. I have no idea how to take it off. Maybe this is just for show. I've never even used a GoPro, guys. So this is um, this is, well, it's my second action cam. The cameras that I record my drum covers on are Sony action cams. Aha! There we go. Now does this come off? Sorry. It's got to. So it's got to come off. Does it just snap? Oh, there we go. Okay, it snaps off. So we got all these mounts. That. Screwing with this. Looks familiar. I think this is what I've seen people using GoPros for. Or with. Or something or other words. I'm going to keep it together for right now. Um, I really don't know much about this side of the box, so I'll have to take a look at the user manual and uh, go from there. But looks like it's in its waterproof. Ooh, and I broke it. Way. So it looks like it's in its waterproof casing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and see what the actual camera looks like. All right. So this is the camera without its casing. Noticeable size difference. Mode button. Um, other buttons, a screen, let's go ahead and take this cover off. It looks like it's got a pretty good build to it. It's got a slot for a micro SD card and a charging port. Um, over here is the battery, which I'm going to put in here. Uh, it comes with a charging cable. It comes with several mounts. So this is a mount, also a mount, a sticky mount with a cable mount, and Another kind of mount, looks like a clip. Um, this is a bicycle mount. I will not be using this at all, because I, I mean, maybe I could hook it up to my, my drum set. But some Velcro straps, which I guess you'd use with the clip. And this thing, I don't know what it is. I wonder if there's an actual tripod mount in here though. That would be a big deal for me because I really don't use all these specialized mounts. Oh, right here. Here we have a tripod mount. So perfect. It looks like it just snaps right in there and 
It can either go upside down or right side up. Um, comes with a cleaning cloth. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the battery in here. And uh, I'll see you in the next clip. Alright, so I got the battery in. It actually goes in a slot on the bottom here. Just go ahead and pull that trigger. And then the battery's right in there. I had to just put it in there. It goes like this. Then this cover goes right back on like this. It's kind of got a little bit of a flimsy build to it there. Uh, I doubt there's any juice in there, but let's go ahead and try and turn it on. Oh, look at that. It's got something in it. It's got a little chime. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the uh, quick start guide while it's sitting there. So it looks like we've got a quick start guide in English, which is kind of the one I'm going to be using, and a quick start guide in French, maybe French la question. I probably said that all wrong, but there we go. French quick start guide for people. So I mean, I guess you get English or French. So looking in here, it's showing me how to remove the camera from the waterproof case which I did wrong. Um, so rule number one of unboxing, look at the instructions first. Unless you're a guy, don't ow, don't look at the instructions at all. Mounting the battery, did that. A buckle mounting system. Uh -huh. Fin style mounting. I think that's probably what I'll be doing most of the time. Oh no, no, I'll be, I'll be using the tripod adapter. And then, oh look at that, the other side is blank. Now you see it, now you don't. Alright, so now let's get our hands on this thing. Alright, so going through here, I'm going to try and zoom in. Of course, doing um, a screen within a screen <laughs> is not the smartest thing. So, up here we have an SD card spot, which I do not have an SD card in here right now. I do have one, but I haven't put it in yet. Um, a Wi-Fi signal connection thing, the battery uh, display. Down here is a little thing for a microphone and it says that right now the current shooting mode is 1080p at 60 frames per second which is great, that's kind of what I want it for. So, oh, that's zoom. So these buttons on the side zoom in, it looks like it's got um, let's see, three 4.0 optical zoom. I probably, I just made that up. It's four, it's times four zoom. Probably not optical. I don't know what that means. Um, so let's see. Let me press the OK button. Nothing. All right. It looks like I'm switching through modes here. Settings. Video resolution, I don't think I'm going to change that unless there's something better. There is not something better, so I'm going to keep it at that. Loop recording off, time lapse off, that's pretty cool. For a free camera, we got some time lapse function. Photo resolution, that's all the way up at 16 megapixels, also not too bad. Timer, I'm not going to mess with that. Exposure, white balance, driving mode, so I guess I could use this as a dash cam. Um, screen saver off, yeah, I'm not going to need any of that stuff. Regular settings, language, daytime, beep sound. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the beep sound. Wi-Fi, I'm not going to do that right now, but I'll get into that on my own. Um, so that's cool, this is Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, I don't know what the exact settings on Wi-Fi are, but we'll see. Oh, no, I want the microphone on. How do I go back? There we go. Um, I'm not quite sure how to start recording. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to zoom out. Um, there's no 
record button. Do you just hold this? Aha. No SD card detected. Please insert an SD card. So when I get a chance, I'll put that in right over here. But I guess this kind of gives a good review of this Wasp cam. Uh, it looks pretty promising. I'm going to try and use it as a body cam for when I play the drums. Those are my drums over there. You can't really see them. But, uh, yeah, give this a shot. And um, there will be a quality video right at the end of this. I'm just not going to get to it today. So, um, stay tuned for the next video. Stay tuned for the next clip so you can see the quality. All right, so much like the other video you'll see released at this time, this uh, video was filmed three weeks after the first part that you just watched. So I'm hopefully going to have some great editing skills and edit it. But this would be the, um, the video quality of the Wasp cam. And obviously the audio quality too. I do not have it in a case right now, but as we can see, as with most action cameras, it does have a fisheye lens. Um, as, as I'm recording this, I have no idea what the sound quality is like, but when I listen back to it, I will, but it'll be a little late to, um, to say anything then because I cannot see the future. So, here's just a quick little idea of what it'll be like if you find yourself with one of these cameras, or if you luck out and get one for free like I did. It wasn't really free, I got it with a purchase. But I'm going to mess with the lights here and see if it adjusts well. So we're going to turn off the lights. And there goes the drum kit. It's gone. So we have a dim light setting. Even dimmer light setting. That's not bad. My recording setting, which we just saw. Um, and different colored lights. And once again, a different color light. So that's all I have programmed onto my remote, and I don't have my phone on me right now. Oops. There we go. So I hope you like what you see. If you did like this video, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And of course, hit that notification button. And I am going to, as I say always, I'm going to try and upload more videos as frequently as I can. So um, thanks for taking the time to watch this, visit, this, this video. And I'll see you in the next one.